Hello and welcome to Excel Dashboard Templates.com. This is Steve Equals True. Please visit my blog at Excel Dashboard Templates.com so you're sure to get the latest posts, tips, tricks, and techniques, and everything related to Excel, learning Excel, and Excel Dashboards. All right, today I have a really cool trick that I kind of stumbled across. Uh, I had a bunch of data like this, say Monday through Sunday. It's in seven different rows, but I actually wanted it to be in one cell, Monday, comma, space, Tuesday, comma, space, Wednesday, etc. And this is just a really difficult thing that Excel just doesn't do so well. Um, so here's what I came up with from a formula standpoint. I said, why don't we take A1, we do a concatenate with using the ampersand symbol, and do a comma and a space within quotes, repeat that for an ampersand concatenate with A2, putting in a, a comma in the space. Well, what a pain in the butt to type that out. That was just not very easy. Somebody has an array formula they can share with me. Uh, I'd love to see it and share it with the audience, but uh, I found this other even faster technique than trying to figure out an array formula to create this concatenation. So what I did was I highlighted this information from A1 to A7. That's Monday through Sunday. And uh, I'm just going to hit my Control C and copy this. Now I've already went ahead and opened up a Google Doc. You can sign up for a Google account and create a Google Doc spreadsheet within this. Uh, and you just need to use this for this one little trick. If you double click on any cell, I am now editing the information in that cell. And I can now paste. Uh, what I had highlighted in Microsoft Excel. And if I hit enter, look at that, it has put it all into one cell. Pretty nifty little trick. Now, if I can go back into the cell, highlight it, and hit copy for Control C, go back into Microsoft Excel, double click in the cell, and paste it. Look at that. Lo and behold, I am concatenated everything but doing the commas and the spaces, but I can do that pretty quickly with a find and replace. Uh, you can read more about this on my blog, but if I go Alt and then do uh, 0, 1, 0, I'm going to put a hard return in there. I'm going to replace it with a comma and a space and replace all. It says it found six replacements of those. Close. That was like 10 times faster than what I had done with this concatenate formula. Uh, and so having done that, I was like, wow, take a look at that. Well, I wonder if I can do it in columns. So let me just copy this information. I'm going to come over to cell D1, and I'm going to paste special this information, and I'm going to do transpose. So now you can see over here I've got Monday through Sunday in the column information, and let's try. So I'm going to copy these uh, values over here. I'm going to go to my Google Doc. I'm going to go right into one cell and edit it, and hit paste, and look at that. It is thrown my information in there and I can come in and just copy and paste this information right from the Google Doc, go back to my spreadsheet, I'm going to go into cell B3 and edit it, hit Control V and uh, so I'm going to make this kind of easy on myself so we've got uh, the information between Monday and Tuesday I'm going to copy it, hit enter and then now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a find and replace and I want to replace by hitting Control V to paste. I want to find and replace that text with a comma and a space. It's saying it's made six replacements. Close. And look at that. We have that same way to quickly do it. I think uh, um, what I have here is I probably have a difference in format. That's why they don't line up. That's what they are. So now you'll see all three of these look the same. So way to quickly do a uh, concatenate formula can take a long time, but I can use a Google Doc to create an awesome way to concatenate information from both a column or from many rows into one cell and then use the find and replace to get rid of some of those funky characters that are separating each of those. Okay, so uh, what I have also found is if you try and do this technique without using Google Doc, that I've highlighted this column of data, control C. Just going to come over and edit a cell over here in C2. I'm hitting control V, which is paste, and you can hear Excel is giving me an error, so it won't do it that way. Try it from the columns, hit control C, come over and edit a cell, and once again, it will not let me do it. So 
um, that's one thing. And then the other thing is if you try and do this from Google Docs, so I'm uh, going to copy all of this information out of the cell. I'm going to come back into Microsoft Excel, and I am not going to edit the cell. I'm just going to click on the cell and hit Control V to paste. Look at that. It is going to put them right back into the way uh, that we started with, so that's no help at all. Uh, however, what I did find out is if you do the one from the column, like we showed uh, earlier, um, since these are going to be spaces and not hard returns, if I copy that, and go into Excel and I don't edit the cell I just clicked on a cell and hit control V look at that is it is actually going to go ahead and just paste it the way I want actually be a quicker way than trying to uh, do what I showed about copying all those different spaces that are in there you can just uh, see it's all separated by one space so your find and replace would be a lot easier but very quick and easy way to do lots of different uh, things in Excel that formulas just are having a hard time by using Google Docs spreadsheets or Google Spreadsheets. Once again, if you have an array formula that you can create that can do this uh, quicker and easier from my concatenate formula, I'd love to share it with our uh, audience. And uh, once again, please don't forget to sign up for my YouTube video channel so you're sure to get the next post delivered directly to your inbox from Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Thank you.